Sought today to determine the identity of the boy, about four to six years old, whose nude, bruised body was found in a large cardboard box in a patch of weeds in North East Philadelphia. Okay, so that's important. We need that. The police would have just released it. Before the finding of the boy in the box, Anna Cathedral's daughter had four children out of wedlock. Three of them were alive when the family was questioned, but one died in 1955 from electrocution at an amusement park. Right? To the home of Arthur Nicoletti, the man who led the former foster care home. Nicoletti's wife, Anna Marie, was the woman Bristow theorized to be the mother of the boy in the box. Anna Marie told Augustine that she did have a boy who passed away in bizarre fashion, with org records supporting her statement. His cause of death was electrocution from a nickel ride outside of a store, once again leading to a dead end. Who's M, Martha or M? Martha who? Who is Martha in the boy in the box? So I looked up who Martha is, and Martha is actually Anna Marie Nicoletti's daughter. That's why they're putting two and two together. So Martha or M is Anna Marie Nicoletti's daughter. Comes from a woman named Martha. A psychiatrist from Cincinnati contacted Augustine and said one of her patients insisted on speaking to the police. The patient went by the name of Martha and said that when she was 11 years old, her mother took her to a house where she handed an envelope over for a boy. Was that clear? That but these details matched information only known by police. Just these sickos, man. Three of them were alive when the family was questioned, but one died in 1955 from electrocution at an amusement park. But if, it would, if that's the case, then the police would have just released it, so obviously this, this, this is not right. The police would have just released it. The police would have just released it. The police would have just released it. The foster home investigation was closed. Here's the problem. Every theory was closed. So like they said, this was a cover-up. M's mother forced M to assist her in dumping the boy's body in the Fox Chase area. M said that as they were preparing to remove the boy's body from the trunk of a car, a passing male motorist pulled alongside to inquire whether they needed help and was ordered to stand in front of the car's license plate to shield it from view when the mother convinced the would be a good Samaritan that there was no problem. The man eventually drove off. The story corroborated a confidential testimony given by a male witness in 1957 who said the body had been placed in a box previously discarded at the scene. But these details matched information only known by police. The police would have just released it. It's crazy. This lady's crazy. She probably had a lot of money and helped police out and paid to... It's crazy. It's a sick, sick story, actually. The police would have just released it.